everyone. Happy Friday. My name is Lori Richmond. I am a children's author, illustrator, and an artist. And I'm so happy you've joined me today for Doodle Class. Um, everyone always asks me, you know, where do your ideas come from? How do you know what to put in your books? How do you know what you're going to draw? And I always find tons of inspiration from real life. So one of the things that I was thinking about this week was a trip that I took um, last fall to Nebraska um, and I went to a children's book festival there called Plum Creek and one of the things that I got to do while I was in Nebraska was visit a actual working farm. Now this was very exciting for me coming from New York City urban area. I had never been on a real farm um, but these are the two farmers that I met and I got to ride on a corn combine, um, which is this big giant vehicle that they use to harvest corn. So you can see like how big that is compared to the size of the farmers. Like it's a really big machine, but it was so cool because we could see like how the corn was actually um, harvested. And so my friend Dylan, who runs the Plum Creek Festival, he's been asking me for a long time to draw some corn for him. So I thought, we could use inspiration from um, those farmers and draw some corn characters today. So before we start, let's do a materials check. Um, I have something to draw on. I have my pad right here. So you should use um, a pad or paper of some kind. I am going to be using watercolors today and I'm going to be using um, these colors. So of course, kind of these um, yellowish oranges, um, the color of corn itself, and then the green for the husk. And then I'm gonna use a lot of reds too, the inspiration of um, the color of that, that big red combine. So those are the colors that I'm gonna pull um, from this little travel watercolor set. Again, this is not fancy. Um, you can buy this online. Not, not super professional materials, we're not fancy here. Um, I've got my round watercolor brush. I've got some water to activate my watercolor paint. And I'm going to draw with the king size Sharpie today. So this is a super, super thick Sharpie. Um, I really like drawing with this when I draw in person with kids because it's a nice, really thick line. You can see it from far away. So let me set up my workspace and I am going to come around to the other side and disappear for a minute and then come right back. So hopefully everybody has their workspace ready to go. I'm gonna put my paint to the side just until we start. Okay, so um, corn characters, right? So I was thinking again about these farmers um, and how cool their job was and how much work they had to do. And it was a lot of like physical labor, you know? They were lifting these heavy things and climbing up the silo that they really were like superheroes to me. So I thought our corn character today could be super corn, like a superhero corn, right? Totally great. My, my sons are back there. They're not quite sure about my idea. I think it's a great idea. So that's what we're gonna draw. All right, so I'm gonna have everybody follow along. And the first thing that we're gonna do um, is start drawing the husk part of the corn. That's like kind of those green leaves that cover the outside. And our first shape is gonna look like a letter S but it's gonna be stretched out. So it's gonna be like a stretchy S. So I can do it first and then you guys can follow. So first we're gonna start with shape that looks like that. See, it's kind of like a, like a squiggly line or an S that's stretched out. And then we're gonna continue around the other side in the exact same shape, but a little further out. So you'll see what I mean. I'm just gonna follow along that line I drew and then kind of close it at the bottom. It almost looks like a slug, right? We could put a little face on it, make it look like a slug, but we're not doing that. That's one side of our husk. And then for the other side, I'm gonna draw a curve and the curve is gonna start right about here and then it's gonna meet up on that line that we've already drawn. So kind of like that. And then we're gonna draw what's almost gonna be a mirror image of this line that we drew here, we're gonna draw on this side. So that's gonna be Kind of like that. So see, it's almost like a banana peel or a flower bud. I mean, there's a couple of things that we could turn this shape into, but this is gonna be our corn husk. 
And so now we're gonna draw the ear of corn in the middle where the kernels go. And that's gonna kind of look like an upside down letter U. So a lot of these basic shapes, right? You guys know how to do these basic shapes. So there's our, our ear of corn, which looks really good so far. And since it's a character, we're gonna give it a little face. So you can draw whatever kind of face you want, an eyes and a nose, um, happy, sad, whatever expression you want. Um, my superhero is gonna be strong. I think I'm gonna make it a girl superhero. So I'm gonna make some eyes that look like that. And I'm gonna put little eyelashes on my super corn, right, like that. And then I'm gonna put a little mouth that looks like that and just fill it in. And so I've already got my happy corn superhero face. Looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna put on a mask, like a superhero mask. So I'm gonna kind of take my inspiration from The Incredibles. If you've seen that, that Pixar movie, The Incredibles, where the family is the superheroes and they kind of wear those masks. Um, and that's gonna kind of be a wiggly line like this that surrounds the eyes like that. You can make it straight too if you want. But I'm gonna make a line kind of like squiggly like that. And next we're gonna put some um, arms and legs on the superhero. So when the corn was growing um, on the farm, it was on these really th um, thin stalks. So I'm gonna kind of, kind of make these like little skinny arms and legs that are inspired by the stalks. So we'll start with the legs first. So I'm gonna make two curvy lines like that. That's gonna be one leg. And we'll put some feet on it in a minute. And I'm gonna put two lines like that right next to each other, make the other leg, and make, just connect those two lines at the bottom. And then for the feet, it's almost like I'm gonna kind of make an oval shape for the feet. And the feet don't have to be a perfect shape. Whatever shape you wanna make your feet. And then I'm gonna add another line there, kind of make the sole of the shoe. Because the superhero needs like comfortable shoes, right? If they're saving the farm, so maybe these are more like sneaker style shoes. And so I'll put some lines there. Like I just bought new shoes for my kids. They kind of have stripes on the side, so we'll make those stripes. And then you can make shoelaces by kind of like making a heart shape on the top, like that, and put your little feet on there. So now that your superhero has some feet, we're gonna make some arms. And so I'm gonna make this like a, like a sassy corn. So maybe, sh maybe my corn's got one you know, hand on the waist and the other hand is, is up in the air. So the hand on the waist, we're gonna make it kind of like a curve. It's gonna look like a letter C, but don't go all the way to the end. We're gonna leave some space there. See that, it looks, looks very much like a letter C. And then here, I'm going to just put a little indication it look, kind of looks like an M of the of a little corn hand folded down on the side, like that. So we've got one arm, and then the other superhero arm, I'm gonna put kind of going up in the air like that. And maybe our corn is gonna hold a sign that says, corn is super. This is getting really corny, right? Oh my God, these puns are terrible, but it's Friday, please forgive me. Okay, so in order to make it look like our corn is kind of holding the sign, maybe it'll be like on a little pole or something, we'll make a little loop like that on the top. And then to make the hand look like it's folded like this, we're gonna make a shape that looks like three letter C's stuck together. I'll show you. One, two, three. See those three letter C's, one on top of the other? One, two, three. And then we're just gonna connect them on the other side with a loop like that. And so that kind of gives that, that same shape, see? Thumbs up. And now we can add a little um, pole for the sign. So we're gonna make two straight lines next to each other, very similar to how we do the legs and arms. So we'll put one here and one like that. So you'll see it looks like the hand now is around the um, little pole. And then we'll add, I went too high on my page. You see, I'm getting really close to the top. So I'm gonna fit my sign in there. And you can make your sign say whatever you want. I'm gonna have mine say, corn is super. 
You can write on there whatever you want. And now our superhero, I think, is missing something really important, like a cape, right? Superhero is like flying through the air, flying through the farm. So I'm going to put a cape that's kind of flowing in the back of my corn here. And I'm gonna go a little bit above where the arm meets the side. See over there? So I'm gonna go and put a wavy line here and a wavy line here. It could be whatever, whatever shape you want because it's flowing in the wind. And then we're gonna make more wavy line like that. So it looks like our cape is flowing behind the corn. And you know, like Superman rips the, the shirt open and you can like see the S underneath. Maybe that is like kind of what we would, you know, see here as the husk comes, comes off from the combine. So I'm gonna draw two little lines like this that will be the top of the Super Corn's shirt. And then maybe I'll put a little SC right there instead of the Superman S. This is gonna be hard to see, so I'll put it closer to the camera for you guys. A little SC for Super Corn. Yay. Okay, so now one thing that we did not do with our pen is draw the kernels on the corn. We're gonna do that using color and I will show you how. So now we're gonna get our paints or our markers or our colored pencils, whatever, or crayons, whatever materials you guys are using today um, for color. Now we're gonna switch over to that. So I'm gonna get my paints. Um, and usually I use the bottom of the page as a palette, but today I actually just took a piece of paper out of my, my pad and I folded it in half and I'm gonna use this as my palette. So I'm gonna put this right here um, so I can mix colors. And so the first place that I'm gonna start is with my yellow. And what I'm gonna do is paint this corn, the area where the corn is gonna be. So the reason I'm gonna do that first is that I need that yellow to dry before I add the kernel details like later in the, in the end, so you'll see. So pick a nice yellow from your, your color, whatever you're using whether that is um, crayons or markers or whatever. So you just wanna go in and fill in your corn. And remember, don't put the yellow on the mask because we're gonna put different color on the mask for our superhero corn here. So I'm gonna go in and fill in all this yellow. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. If you go out of the lines, that's okay. This is just this is just for fun. We don't we don't need to be perfect when we're doing art. All right, awesome. So there we've already have our little kind of base color for the yellow. And then I'm going to put um some green on the husks. And now I'm going to get a little fancy here actually. I'm going to mix okay, I have this yellowish green and you'll see when I put it on here it looks more yellow than green, right? But I'm gonna do some blending of different colors. And you can create effects like this with your crayons and your markers as well. So now this is a slightly different green that I'm putting in with that greenish yellow. And I'm gonna kinda get them to blend like that and start filling in the green all around the husk like that. This is looking pretty good. Okay, get that green in there and fill in your husk. And now I'm gonna get another green, a darker green, and I'm gonna keep adding that on to blend in with the green that's already there. Kind of create a little effect like that where you get the color to blend a little bit, which always looks really nice, I think especially with watercolor. When the, when the paints blend and kind of create those little happy accidents, like Bob Ross would say, I think it looks more interesting. So you can go ahead and have some fun, really kind of putting a lot of uh, contour and different greens in the husk of your, of your super corn. There we go. And so since the arms and the legs were inspired by the, the stalks, which if I remember correctly, were also green, kind of like the husks. I'm gonna use green to fill in the legs and the arms too. So once you get your husk completed, if you wanna go ahead and fill in your legs also. 
And maybe you wanna make your legs and your arms yellow like the corn instead of green like the husk, that's cool too. You can do it however you want. It's your piece, it's your super corn. And we'll get that in there because super corn needs color in these arms and legs. Look at that. Cool, love this. Love this, awesome. All right, now we are gonna go into those really nice reds that were inspired by the color of that big combine that I wrote on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some red paint and I am going to start first with the mask, with Super Corn's mask. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna fill in around the eyeballs this cool superhero mask that my Super Corn is wearing. And so I, I'm kind of holding my arm away from the page so I don't put my wrist in the wet part that we just painted. It's a real challenge doing watercolor vertically, let me tell you. But I think we got it. All right, and so I'm gonna stick with this red and I'm gonna fill in the cape. So once you've got your mask filled in, you can feel free to go crazy filling in the cape. And if you don't want to do a solid color for your cape, if you want to do like stripes or dots or little corns, whatever, however you want to design it, go ahead and do that. And we're going to fill in this cape. And here I'm trying not to mix my red and my green. Sometimes you want watercolor to mix because like I said, that's when you get the happy accidents, but in this case, I wanna keep them separate. So I'm trying to be really careful that the wet paint doesn't touch the other paint that's still drying, because then we'll get a blend, which is not what I'm going for right now. And now I'm gonna do the other side of the cape. This one will be a little easier for me to fill in on this side. Look at that. This is coming together, guys. I think we could write a book about super corn right? Like the adventures of super corn, saving the farms all around and bringing fresh, delicious foods to farmers markets everywhere. I don't know. I think we've created the next greatest children's book character. Maybe if Agent Lori is watching, maybe she'll, she'll agree. Agent Lori is the, is my, my agent who helps me with my book. So we'll see what she thinks about super corn. Maybe we can all write that book together. All right, I'm gonna stick with my reds and I'm gonna fill in my super corn shoes. Um, so I have those stripes that I made there, so I'm gonna paint around those because I, I want those stripes to be white. But you can design your shoes however you want them to look. They don't have to look exactly like the shoes that I made. They can look like the shoes that you wanna make, whatever color you want. Maybe you want to use blue or some color we haven't even used today. That would be exciting. So there we go. We've got some shoes. We've got all of that, the cape, and then, oh, super corn sign. So I'm going to continue with the red. And so there we go. That little sign now has a nice red stick on it. And then for super corn's shirt, maybe I'm going to use a lighter version of the red. So I'm gonna, I'm adding more water right now to my red paint to make it like, almost like a pink, like a light color. And that's what I'll use for my super corn shirt here. But you can do it, like I said, you know, however you want. You design it the way you wanna see it. There we go. Maybe that collar I'll make slightly more red. That'll be fun. A little red tongue there, cool. I like this, I think it looks really cute. All right, now our finishing touches, um, one of our finishing touches will be adding the kernel detail. So we put the yellow up here, right, on our corn, and that, that feels pretty dry to me. I don't see any yellow paint on my finger, so that's pretty dry. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a, a little bit of a darker yellow. I might even mix in some orange there, and I'm gonna take some of that paint on my brush and I'm just gonna dot it on my corn and it's gonna look like little little kernels. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna go like this and make little rows of kernels. And it'll give the effect, and I'll bring this a little closer so you can see. It'll give the effect of the corn kernels. So if you drew with a yellow marker, then grab your orange marker and then start putting those little dots on there 
Same thing if you used crayons or some other material. And you can go in and add in some little kernel detail, some little texture to make it look like real corn. How fun is that? See that? So you don't have to draw everything with your pen. Sometimes those details look better when you can you know, use your um, whatever material for the color or some other material entirely. So our super corn kind of looks like uh, she's floating in space, right? So I'm gonna create a little, um, not a full background, but a little ground for her to stand on. And I remember when I was in the cornfields, there was lots of greens and browns um, uh, around, obviously, with all of these plants. So I'm gonna kind of use like a darkish, a darkish green color. And I'm just gonna like put a blob down here. That is a technical term, a blob, around the feet and legs. And this is gonna give an indication of some kind of green um, ground that she's standing on. Maybe it's at the farm. Maybe it's at the farm that she just saved in some superhero activity that she was doing. But I'm gonna go around and add in all of this green to the bottom. And see, it's not perfect. It has imperfect edges. Like, that's totally fine. We just wanna give an indication that there's some something that she's standing on like that. And then what we could even do is take our brush, and this will be fun, and we can kind of flick it upwards like this, kind of like that. And then that can give the indication that there's some like plants and greenery there. So I'll pull that up so you can see. So you just take your brush and drag it, or your marker or your crayon, and that kind of gives a little texture to the background, right? Like all of a sudden it feels, it starts to feel like a lot more finished, right? It's such an easy thing to do, an easy trick, easy little trick that you can do. And you can even use different greens back there too, some of the browns as well. I'm just gonna stick with those greens for right now. And look at that, you can really, you can really have a lot of fun with this. And then you can also, you could add a blue background here for kind of a sunny day on the farm. You could, you know, you could really keep going with this. And now we have a whole new character that we've drawn together um, that we can write stories about. And that's so cool. That's why I love making books. Um, and please send me your super corns. I want to see them. I want to send them to my friends in Nebraska so they could see them too. So you can DM them to me or tag me at Lori Richmond Draws. Uh, I would love to see and please share them with me. Um, have a great weekend. I will see you guys next week and keep drawing. Bye.